Hello my dear friends. I assume that you have attempted the fourth question before you are watching this video. In this question, there are three people involved, Smith, Carrie and Nolan. We can see that if at least one of the statements made by Carrie is a lie, then the question is who got the hero number one award? It is known that one among Smith, Carrie, Nolan speaks the truth, the other one always lies and the third one alternates between a truth and a lie in any order. Which means we have a truth teller here in this question. Since it is said that at least one of the statements made by Carrie is a lie, I can make a conclusion that Carrie cannot be the truth teller. So I may consider Smith to be the truth teller or Nolan to be the truth teller. Both the possibilities I have to take into consideration, but definitely Carrie is not a truth teller. Here, I do not find any of the trigger statements, so I have to go by the iteration method. Let me assume that Smith is the truth teller. Then, this statement is true. The second statement is also true. It says that Nolan got the hero number one award. So hero number one, it goes to Nolan as per the assumption. Smith says I did not get any award, which is true, which means Smith did not get the zero number one, which means Nolan got the hero number one. Smith cannot get the zero number one. Somebody would have got the zero number one and that person is none other than Carrie. So as per the assumption, I can see that Smith to be the truth teller, he did not get any award and Nolan got the hero number one award. Now let us consider the statement made by Carrie. Carrie says that I got the hero number one award. Carrie got the zero number one award. So this statement is false. Nolan got the zero number one award. Nolan got the hero number one award. So this statement is also false. Now we can conclude that Carrie is appearing to be a liar. Let us consider the statements made by Nolan. Smith being the truth teller, Carrie being the liar. Nolan should be the alternator. Let us see whether any other scenario that is a conflicting situation is observed. Let us see that. Nolan says I got the hero number one award. Hero number one award goes to Nolan which is true. Smith got the zero number one award. Zero number one award was given to Carrie. So Smith got the zero number one award is false. I can see that Smith being the truth teller, Carrie being the liar and Nolan being the alternator. The statements are becoming true and false accordingly. And as per the given situation, I don't see any logical inconsistency or conflict. But according to the situation, the hero number one award goes to Nolan. But I cannot make any conclusion at this point of time because here I just assumed Smith to be the truth teller. But equally likely, Nolan can also be the truth teller. So we have to consider that possibility before we give the final answer. As indicated, we considered Smith to be the truth teller and then we found out that Nolan got the hero number one award.
Carrie cannot be the truth teller. Let me now assume Nolan to be the truth teller. If so, the first statement is true, the second statement is also true. Nolan says, I got the hero number one award, so hero number one award goes to Nolan. Smith got the zero number one award is appearing to be true, so here zero number one award goes to Smith. Now let us consider the statements made by Carrie. Carrie says, I got the hero number one award, which is false. Nolan got the zero number one award. That is also false because the zero number one award was given to Smith. Here, both the statements made by Carrie appears to be false, which means Carrie appears to be a liar in this particular question, in this particular assumption. Let us consider the statements made by Smith. Nolan being the truth teller, Carrie being the liar, Smith, ideally he should be the alternator. Let us see whether that condition is getting satisfied. Smith says, I did not get any award. Smith got the zero number one award, so I did not get any award is false. Double negation makes it positive, which means Smith got some award. Nolan got the hero number one award. That is true. So, Smith is now appearing to be an alternator here. And there is no logical inconsistency or conflict or contradiction in any of the assumption that is being made. In either situation, I can see that the hero number one award was presented to Nolan. In the previous case also, you can see that Nolan got the hero number one award. But if the question was who got the zero number one award, one situation we find that Smith got the zero number one award. In another assumption, this is the other paper which we used. The, here I see that Carrie got the zero number one award. So, who got the zero number one award? I cannot say it for sure with the amount of information that is provided. I can also see that Smith can be the truth teller, Carrie is liar and Nolan is an alternator in one scenario. There is another scenario that is Smith can be an alternator, Carrie is a liar and Nolan being the truth teller. So Smith and Nolan they can be truth teller alternator or alternator truth teller accordingly. Carrie is appearing to be a liar in both these situations and the conclusion is that the hero number one award was given to Nolan in both the assumptions. I assume that you have followed the explanation. Thank you for watching this video.